Hello, Editing Joey here. You listened to the second part of a two-part episode for this week. So if you haven't already, go listen to the previous episode for the first 30 minutes of this week's podcast, and then come back to listen to this episode for the final 30 minutes. Enjoy. It's just the awareness. Yeah. Because no, we, we are around drag queens, and we're around trans right. people as well, and they have hair and we- no, weapons. What are they called? Nails? Nails? <laughs> Hand weapons or whatever. Uh... They have those things as well, but you know, there's a difference between there's a, there's a difference. I dance wide. Correct. I actually dance wide. You you I have How, footage, and there you are, can see some of David's dancing in some of my YouTube party videos. I, However, when you dance wild, though, you move yourself like away I from move the crowd. Away, you move to like a dark dark go, corner go to, go to of the, dark corner. the dance floor. That's like almost not the dance floor, yeah. and you you take up literally. I, yeah. You take up the most space of anyone. I do. I dance very well, but I dance on the side in the dark recesses of my mind. Or I actually, or also I up, I go up. You do <laughs> jump a lot. Uh, so you I'm do jump. Elevated. Yeah. So, and in those instances, I do, uh, I do still have an awareness if I do, not if, when I do hit <laughs> people, multiple people, I do sort of say, sorry. You do bruise but, a lot when but, you dance. Uh, I actually sort of got okay. Maybe the desert, maybe the desert sand was- I think in ADC, there's more space for you to- I had long socks as well. And in the crowds, you sort of buffered by people. I found- You, you ricochet off of them when you jump and dance. <laughs> ricochet, basically. Uh, oh yes. my God, you're the straight girl I, in I, the gay clubs. It's <gasps> you. I identify as a straight girl. Oh my God. I am a basic white bitch. Why, 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 why? No, no, why, why can't I be white? No, I'm just a basic girl. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm I'm now, well, it's a realization. Yeah, well, you were talking about like, you know, girls, quote unquote, dancing wild in a gay club. That's you actually, bitch. Oh, but no, see, I don't do that at a game. I mean, you, yeah, but you, you know, on Sunday, you were just whatever. You weren't trying to jump around or whatever. But not that I saw. Actually, all I'm going to say was <laughs> is gay people on substances are better than girls on drugs. Well, no, you- no, wait. No, say that again. Gays on substances are more controllable than girls on alcohol. I think alcohol I actually- I have no experience with. Yeah. It's, it's actually- I mean, I, I will say it's not a pretty look when like it's- like 4 p.m. on a Sunday and you're puking on the curb already and it's far from, uh, but but you know, the sun is far once from again, setting. I think that's driven by alcohol. So it's the, it, weirdly enough. I mean, it's not a good look either it's, way. I think al- it's, it's alcohol. Co- yeah. It's actually alcohol combined with certain groups when they're empowered. And it, it really is, it's it, no, because you, want girls, thing, you actually want girls there. But that is the thing. And it, it doesn't happen to everyone. You know, some people are like messy drunks that just, that's just how they are when they get drunk and they drink. Some people are just, you know, they're happy drunk or they're like sad yes, drunk, they're yeah, angry yeah, drunk. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, when yeah, people yeah, get yeah. under the influence, they just behave different. And some of them, they'll whip their hair back and forth in the dance floor. That doesn't have the space to allow for that. Yeah. It's just, yeah. This, just is, this is a shady podcast, isn't check, it? Check yourself before one of the gays bitch slap you. I will be there for it. I, mean, I feel like the gays are always like, they're annoyed by it, but it's, it's so this is what we're talking about. It's like, Girls or people doesn't have to be girls, but like if you have long hair and you're whipping your head back and forth, that's gonna hit people behind you. <gasps> but and, and it's a handbag. That, that's that's a part that's annoying. Yeah, it's the handbag. It's bags. not a girl specific thing. It's uh, a long hair specific. It's thing. long hair. Uh, hand- it's just that girls tend to be more likely to have long uh, hair. Uh, handbags. It's not a girl thing. Actually. Handbags, high heels, and like the it's just the lack of awareness. Yeah, oh my god, high, high heels, heels on a dance floor. If it's like a tight dance floor where it's a little yeah. more packed, high heels, like. Yeah. I, I used to know uh, girls in like high school and college that are friends of mine where they have used their high heels to like stab a guy's feet as a way to like yep. get them to back off or whatever. So high heels can be weapons on the dance floor. But you can always rely on that sassy, gay, skinny white twink to check that bitch. And I always- We don't know any always, of those. No, but you watch for it and you like- We don't know like, any of those to like defend us. No, I'm like, I wanna watch this, or watch these girls. If they're a group of obnoxious girls, everyone's gonna know them. And you wait for them to like, just get wrecked by that little fucking gay twink. Just get him, get her Jade. Get him, <coughs> get it, attack like a little Pokemon. Oh my yeah. God, that's, well. That's I, equality, that's Pride Month. Well, I, I, that's the move I'm gay. <laughs> that's, that's bring it back full circle, move I'm gay, get the fuck out or I'll pull your hair out. I'm actually not a violent person, I just run away. I'm really passive, I'm actually just like, man, just, I run away. No, I, don't I, would, want, I would actually never tell them no, this. No, I don't want to fight. I would just bitch about it on a podcast. <laughs> Literally, so we'll have David back for no, an update girls. after Pride Month, probably. I'll be dead and I have no hair. <laughs> Get brilliant. 
happy so, pride. Yeah. yeah, happy pride. We'll, we'll, we'll have a pride month update in a future episode, I'm sure. So to wrap up the podcast. What the fuck did we talk about? <laughs> it, 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 this was- is, it's, it's been quality <laughs> entertainment for the last 37 minutes as far as I'm concerned. Quality entertainment. When I edit this later, maybe it won't sound so great, but it is what it Sensor is. Censor everything. Censor everything. No. Padam, padam. Oh, great. Padam, padam, padam. You should just put a paper bag over your face. That would have been easier. That would be an improvement, actually. And for all those listening, you'd have to paper bag my voice. How did you? How do you paper bag of uh, duct tape? No, uh, vo- vo- vocoder. Vo- vo- That's too much vocoder. work. That's too I much can work. talk like this. <laughs> I can lower my octaves. That's barely any lower than your normal voice. Uh, ah, wait, this is how you speak. Get the gay scream, the gay panic. Ah, this is really grating. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yeah, I know. I want to sound like this for no reason. I'm Batman. It doesn't even sound sexy. I'm Batman. Well, Batman's not sexy for you. <sighs> okay. We need to adjust your medication levels. I clearly, <laughs> you, this guy's like, they're like, he's schizophrenic. You've got like a schizophrenic person. It's like if you uh, if you had just listened to last week's podcast with David and you're listening to this episode now, there'll be a very marked difference in your energy level. Honestly, even a marked difference between like minute five and minute eight. It's like, what the fuck even, is he on? Especially if you're doing, if you're watching the video version of the podcast, which by the way is available on Spotify and YouTube, that you can just see even in the video, you're just very like whatever I'm, in addition to your voice i'm actually three thousand percent sober too they're probably a psychologist you might be watching or listening to this and they're like he's something's wrong with him i probably give people who the have people bipolar that, a bad that, name the people that knew you they they had commented like oh you look like out of it <laughs> they're like the people you, that knew you in real life they were being nice they're like you look like fucking shit and i'm like yep that's they how were I felt. they were even that was nice i was hard I, yeah. I actually did yeah we I, yeah had a, a a mutual friend of ours say you look like fucking shit i'm like yeah thanks girl thanks yeah wow that's that's hard true but harsh no but i like harsh but true this is my you just, life you just like trash yes i mean i identify as trash <laughs> i identify as a recycling bin actually not recycling i decided not recycling bin. just a I dumpster i kind of want to joke about like identify as it slash that but then i don't want to make light of the fight for those people with pronouns so i make a joke about it but i do take people's a lot uh, of well actually something is an education moment um i just read about it a few weeks ago where it's not preferred do you hear about this it's not preferred pronouns but it's personal pronouns because they don't it's not prefer- like, you know, if you say preferred, it means like I, I'm something else, but I prefer this. It's but a if preference. You, if you use the Instead term- of who you are. But I think if you use the term, what's your personal pronoun? I think it's, uh, uh, that's actually, oh, I, I didn't, didn't think about this, yeah. but it's something that's a bit more, um, yeah, if it's, what's your personal pronoun? And then it's like, versus what's your preferred pronoun? Because if it's you a say preferred pronoun, difference. that implies that it's a preference and not yeah, who yeah, you yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got yeah. it. Got so it. that's a weird thing. I'd ramble. Hey, look, it's gone that full circle to actually something really actually worth listening to. 40 minutes later. Not just rambling <laughs> of trash of an adult delusional mind. I mean, this is what I had kind of in mind when I have guests on the podcast. You know, like <laughs> last week we talked about a very specific, like some specific topics, but I kind of like it better that it was just a conversation. I mean- I, there doesn't always have to be like a predefined topic that we talk about. As long as it's entertaining. It is very strange. For someone, for someone as unsuccessful and like trashy and crap as me, do we actually do have a Not lot a of life, like actual, actual moral and ethical, surprisingly economical, geographical, spastical. I don't know these weird words. Where's this going? Going to... Australia? I don't know. We, these conversations we actually do have that are quite deep and shallow, like me. We do actually have some like Very deep weird. conversations because we're, 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 we're close friends. I mean, so we, we understand each other. Things. We actually understand each other actually, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. I mean, I think for the for the purpose of this podcast, we're not going very, very deep. But there have been times where we talked about like dating and relationships and like our relationship Dreams. with our families and like we just had like a random we just had like a random conversation like what yesterday or two days ago about like personal finances. Personal finances, uh like like a serious one, not just like joking about how we're jealous that other people are millionaires or whatever. Uh career goals, career like yeah, yeah. dreams for the future. We're, we're real people too. But I'm so fake. <laughs> well, okay, well, we don't have time to unpack that. But, but what actually, we do have time to unpack is RuPaul's Drag Race, oh, Some Stars, Season 8, 
episode four, which is the episode that aired um, this past weekend. Oh, is that? Uh, and we uh, both have thoughts. Um, isn't that the episode where there was the the bus driver and we just uh, and wa- we I just saw someone on the we- side of the street. It was Alexis, I think. Didn't Alexis throw? <laughs> I think he threw Darian, and then I ran over someone. So I think in Darian's words, you didn't throw me under the bus, but you like <laughs> put me in front of the bus or something like that. You put me in the front front of the bus. For it to run over me, yeah, like in the untucked. Dude, if I was Alexis, I'd come back in the reunion and dress up as a bus driver. <laughs> Would that not be genius? Hello. Um, I mean, anyway, so yeah, so yes. that was the that was the thing that you and I we were <laughs> um, most. It was the most juicy. Yeah, kind of that happened. I mean, it it seems like she's unlikable, but you watch her for the team. That's the popcorn moment. Right? You're like. <gasps> Like I would go to a, a jewelry store, buy a pearl necklace to put it on, and then to clutch it. I'm like, <gasps> Alexis, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Uh. So I don't. I know we need a villain, and a lot of reality shows need yes. a villain. Yes, and at least for right now, Alexis is filling that a little bit. It's like a person that you love to hate. Me personally, like that makes me, you know, not like that person very much. Yep. So it's like. Also, I don't think she was ever going to get to the top anyway. Just, no. Just, just and tea. my conspiracy theory is, I believe, because I never watched Candy Muse's season, but she was quite yeah. villainous on that episode, a, a season. Relatively, yeah. Um, and so my opinion is, it seems that, okay, I think production has favorites. I think Jimbo, Jessica Wilde, or Candy Muse, James. or James Mansfield. I yeah. think they're the four that production will push and, and give leeway to. So I feel... Like when you said Alexis would not go to the top, I agree with that. But I think that with such a character like Candy Muse, who's very, um, uh, how do I say, she's very forward with her words. If you have someone who's maybe more villainous, then someone more, Candy Muse relative to her would seem more likable. Yeah, um, that's true. And I feel like Candy is toned down like a little bit so far this like on this All Star season compared to when in her own season where she. She had like definitely some moments in like untucked and like has some tips and kind of uh, that type of thing, some screaming matches, yeah. that kind of stuff. I think not not that Candy is just like trying to be fake or be someone else. It's just like just a little toned down, at least so far. But apparently, the other thing we, we're seeing talking about drama is that um, in the uh, foreshadowing, it looks like Heidi and Closet might be about to stir up the pot with some some things that she may have seen and heard maybe that we haven't seen on camera so far. Yeah, I th- I think Heidi will probably, because I think she's one of the fan favorites. She's probably one of the most popular ones. She was Miss Congeniality on her season, no? So I feel, I feel that she'll win the fame games and maybe she will so, <laughs> and, like- I think you said this exact same thing Did I? last episode. Oh, and shit. I, and I, at, on, on, a, on the podcast. Oh. And I, and I was like, so you don't think she'll make it to the top? Yeah, though? I don't and then think you're so. like, I don't think. I don't think. Uh, not, not because of, I think she's talented enough. You don't think she'll win, enough. basically. I think she's talented enough. But actually, I think, I mean, I think she should have been at least in the top last week with the ball. Yeah, we don't. I don't think we, and well, yes. it was the acting challenge last week. Oh, I think she should have. When she said she was leaving that little drama, I thought she oh, yeah, should have been that was the top. That was, uh, that, was the, um, that was episode three. So that was two weeks ago. Yes. I think what her her narrative for this season, I think is she's going to spill some, it's seemingly she'll spill some tea about candy maybe. And then, I think so. and that's the drama of the season. You know what? Well, the and she wins like, money at the end. She's the one that's in a double alliance. Yep. She's a double Double Heidi. Double, double Heidi in the closet. You wanted to say something, uh, you double, to say something else. Double Heidi in the closet. You wanted to say- <laughs> Two people in the closet. Oh my God. Two in the closet. You have wanted to say something else yep. for sure. Deep Heidi. <laughs> Does yeah. it make sense? Deep oh Heidi. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah, but um, I think, and also we both thought that everyone would vote for Darian. Yes. And like, Everyone did. So uh, we haven't watched um, the next episode yet, but it doesn't come up for until tomorrow, until Friday. But on YouTube, they were, had already posted like the first few minutes of oh, yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. upcoming episode. And it shows them um, uh, counting the lipsticks from the elimination votes from the previous week. And everybody voted for Darren except for herself, obviously. It was, yeah, and it was who we thought. Who it's We thought it was smart to vote for Darian because track record right because if you need to defend your decision later 
it's a very easy defense yep. and excuse to say I voted Darren because of track record. Even though in the acting challenge, in her group, she got the best critique. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. Go. Actually, Go. no. So what I dislike about uh, the the production side of RuPaul's where I start feeling the production, I hate it when she goes, okay, so tonight, un- you, tonight, you, you, uh, you performed in teams, but tonight we are judging an individuals. It hasn't happened for a while, but this time they chose to judge in teams. Yeah, because they wanted to send Darren home. Be- my my you think production theory, wanted to. You think production thought it was yeah, Darren? Yeah, production is like clearly Darren's not showing enough. She can send her home. It's it's three times in the bottom. But but really, can you remember the last time? Because like, your memory is really bad. Can you it's remember true. the last time where they actually did judge in teams? It's normally that- It's no, relatively rare. Yeah, because they want to pick someone out normally. True. So in my opinion, my opinion only, Darren was at the entire cast, not the bottom, actually. I think that's very insightful because I don't, I don't, I don't think about that very much. <gasps> I've thought about this too much because I have no proper job or no life or no anything. You have a proper so job. I, I, I you, have, you have more of a proper job than I do. Blow jobs don't count. Anyways, uh, so my conspiracy theory, yeah, is that uh, production, if they if they want someone to go home and they choose things, for example, Jimbo was always going to win that week because they sent Pangina. They knew Pangina was going to come in. So there's certain things like that, right? They'll pitch a comedy challenge. They'll know someone's in the top and they can edit for someone to always win. True. But in, in these cases where they're like, okay, they saw this and then Alexis in the on the table reads when, when Rue goes around the room and- you, the, the camera's already saying, Alexis is like, oh, I don't agree with the the plot story mechanic. Yeah. They knew Alexis would do the same thing is what I'm saying. She did it in her season. She did it in her season where she said like, oh, the other queens didn't tell me my dress looked shit or whatever. Exactly. And so they're like, okay, this dumb delusional bitch is going to do it again. She hasn't learned. Let's judge them in teams. And this is why they have the drama. Yeah, My because within opinion. the team, there's uh, there's a uh, the, when you judge the team and you go down the critiques, you know, each team member is gonna feel some sort of way about how the team worked together. Yeah, who pulled the way, who didn't, exactly. who was better, who was worse. So my opinion and why I feel the riggery is that if you were truly serious about it being an actual competition, my feeling is you would tell them before the challenge starts. Yeah, but once. You, he, they only tell them after the finished product. That is why I always feel that, okay, this is, it's not a true competition. All Stars is basically just a narrative of who to come back. And then, so my, my theory is the narrative of this season, which is what I argue is some stars. It's just for, I don't know, say a Kahana Montrese to get a lot of redemption, right? Yeah. And she has, she's and to, amazing. And to like reintroduce herself. Yep. And if then, you didn't get that much screen time, you didn't stand up that much in your season or you were on a season that was like a very long time ago, like Jessica Wilde, for example. Yes. And yeah, I mean, I love Jessica Wilde, but I love and bring it back to the episode we're meant to be talking about. Uh, we are talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Marla Ray's look was in, I cannot stress to you. I've how- got, I've actually got the looks like, oh, I've actually got the looks kind of on here oh, because it like I, it, it's hard for me to remember looks. So like, oh. so the, um the, on the runway, the category is "Ass the World Turns," so it's, it's supposed to be something about your ass. But that's the name of, you know, the theme of the runway. Earth butt. Yep. Yeah. So um, Alexis Michelle's was like, "Yep, she, okay." She, she, always, she always looks fine. It's you expected. Yep. Darian, like Darian's, looks like good. She patted the hell out of the ass, which she is, I think good. what you need to do, like. This sounds a little bit like, you know, we're, we're piling on Alexa Michelle, but it's like showing your bare ass when it's like that flat should be like, it's, that's not, I don't think that's RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars quality. Show your flat ass like that. But it could be. I'd rather her just pat the F out of her ass and show that instead of just like cutting a little hole in the back of your dress. Or you could have done it like the other way and be- become being a, like a flat earther and oh be my like, God. my ass is that flat world, a flat earth. Ass so, as the flat. I prefer the girls that just like patted the F out of their ass and that's how they chose to highlight it. Yeah. I mean, the only exception is maybe Kahana, but like she's had injections down there and she has like a nice round ass. Yep. But some of the girls that had just like a whole cut out the back of their dress, um, uh, which uh, like, like Lala Rees, it's like- Oh my God. You know no, what? but Lala Rees was so- 
distasteful to my eyes. The leggings I were don't like know near, what the leggings were almost skin tone. So like if you did a contrast color Ooh, on like the on the on the the leggings part of it, it that would have face. highlighted her ass. It hurts my face to look at it. What is it? It's chains and fake nude illusion. I didn't <gasps> oh, get it. It's, Do you get it now looking no, at it? It looks gross. I would <laughs> I would rather a straight girl go to a club than her. Please. Wow. Just, what, please, oh my God. Please, you, you're no, going to get so much hate no, mail after no, this. No. Lala, no. No, no, Ree. Candies, I like the concept. The execution is look, that's a whole, it's, it's too high up. It looks yeah. like two boobs four, on her waist. Four asses. It, it's four asses. But I loved everything else. I mean, I, I like the concept. Just for pull sure. it down. Perfect. Yeah. Kahana's got it fine. Jimbo is very Jimbo. Yep. Which is great. It's, it's very, very Jimbo, yep. which is awesome. Just because it was just okay. Meh. Just fine. Meh. It was okay. Like, I know what she was going for, but it but was like. Clearly, that's not even. Okay, clearly, she did not bring this dress for this challenge, and she just put lipstick on her ass and she just patted. That's it. Fine. It's I mean, fine. it's meh. She got to pat it more if that was her concept. <laughs> Once she saw the commercial, she didn't need to. Meh. Meh. Uh, I guess. James patted. She did, but then it's like the headdress is. The headdress is the focus, it right? It takes away the focus. So then it's yeah, like, so put, I, it on I was a little, put it on your ass. <laughs> I was a little bit like, yeah, it was like, if, if ass, just like there's been, a, there was a shoulder pass challenge before. Okay. Yeah. On some scenes, it was like, yes. And you know, it's like, if it's a particular feature of an outfit of your body, that's supposed to be like the theme, like yeah. accentuate the fuck out of it. Like when they yeah. had the shoulder pads, like have like, shoulder pads are like four feet wide. Do what Jimbo and do what uh, Candy did. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, because, this is drag. You want to like turn up to eleven, mm, right? More like so James. something like, like Lala Reeds is like this isn't. Oh my god, this is more like James start on that Plainsfield. <laughs> yeah, so like it needs to accentuate the ass, and I feel like a surprising number of the girls did not really like push the ass angle when that's the challenge. Yeah, like I feel like if you were to hide the category and you show people certain photos and you're like- They need to guess, get it. Guess what it is. Or yeah. at least get it close, right? And you're not gonna get, you're like, with, oh, the category is headdress. candy, you would get it. Yeah, for, for, for her, it's like headdress or cultural night. Like a Vegas type thing. Thing, confute, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it should be- it's or, like, or go full pun like, um. Uh, Heidi and Closet donkey. with the yeah, donkey. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That was very clever Hell yeah. with Heidi. And the makeup and the- that, yeah. The makeup was good. Her looks have been great this season. I mean, this should be for all stars. Yeah, it's no no Heidi in the closet. Like, I want to see your closet. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, so I mean, by the time you get the all stars, the standards are a little elevated for the it runway. Is. And like, honestly, the fashion has been sort of mid and this it, season. And they have designers to like do it. This is not like a sewing challenge where they had to like- Cobbled it up together like yeah. Kasha Davis and came up with that fucking mess. Oh my God. But yeah, like say what you will about Alexis actually, but she has been giving, she always looks put together and makes like, I know the bridal dress is whatever, but it, yeah. she looks great. You her makeup is good. You can't fault her. But it's just, I, I know, again, I know I understand, you know, you need balance in terms of like characters and having like a so-called villain quote unquote to like stir the pot a little bit. I just don't like that type. That's why I don't watch a lot of reality TV because I don't like villains. But like it's like, a, I know it's like a, a love to hate type of a thing. But Joey. For me, I'm just not, you know. But Joey, I I just didn't know how it would be received. Oh God, that's <laughs> like, stupid bitch. <laughs> My prediction is that, and Jimbo alluded to this when she was having the conversations with, with like the, the bottom three girls. They're all bottoms. Oh yeah, got it. Sorry, but she was having like the one on ones with the with the girls to see to, for them to like plead their case or whatever. Hi, and then Jimbo said in the confessional that you know he mentioned he doesn't necessarily like approve or condone of the behavior that Alexis Michelle was displaying in terms of like you know throwing a teammate under the bus uh, I mean, in front of the judges. Well, the thing was, I mean, I don't know what the order was, but in the editing of the show, in the order of the show, she's like, I'm here for my sisters. I yeah, love I you, have... Darian. And it's like, go just shut your mouth and the, just- The fakery of it all. But, and you know what's gonna be annoying? It's Snatch Game this week. And she yeah. won Snatch Game on her season. The terrible Snatch she Game. She did. Liza. Oh, I mean, she was a good so Liza. So now she's gonna have I'll a big head. And now she's gonna even she's gonna bomb. More. I mean, I think she might be good, but it's she's just an actress, right? I mean, she's an actress with good looks, right? Barely in terms of looks. <gasps> drag her, oh, drag her. I have the shape. Was that the? Oh, there was yeah. the. You need a padam padam button. Padam. I'll program the padam padam. <laughs> you can give me the sound clip. A really bad. A really generic padam 
But um, and like a grinder noise, like a brum brum. Oh, like the grinder message noise. Brum brum. The grinder message noise. Um, yeah, but Alexis is uh, yeah, it's snatch game. Of love, actually. Oh, snatch sucks. game of love, which I don't love. I just want, I like regular snatch game. I'm not a huge fan of yeah. the, uh, eh. yeah. I missed the reading challenge for the first episode. I really missed that. When all the queens are there, that's the most I, chance I don't miss reading. the reading challenge. Like, uh, honestly, a lot of the reads are not that good. Uh, uh, I, that, that's my opinion. Uh, uh, Some queens can give really good, re- like James Monsoon. I can, I can listen to her read other people all day, every day, but she's, Funny as hell. But you do know that these queens can literally hire writers and have reads. So it's there for a lot of and, times. And their reads are still so bad. That's why they're really bad. It's yes. horrible. Yes, they can't read. They're illiterate. Because what reading I is- don't, I don't really enjoy the reading challenges because the reads are like, honestly, not that good. But, but well, it depends on if you have funny queens. So you're saying- well, all queen, You're saying these queens aren't funny. Exactly. You're saying All Stars 8 are terrible. Kind of. Just Joey is just saying- No all stars. Stars 8 has no stars. No stars. It's like an Uber, a bad Uber. Zero. Have you ever given zero stars? No, no, no. I've been given zero stars. The only time I've, my performance the only in. time I've written anything was like, there was like this one time the driver was like, not staying in his lane. Drag her. wasn't paying Drag that much her. attention. I, I will. F Formula Drag one? Her. Formula one Uber? No. Formula no, no, one no. Uber? No. No? No, anyways, mm. it was just like, Anyways, let, 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 let's not let's not jump back into the Uber conversation. Gracias, gracias. Thank you for that. Gracias, gracias. gracias thank you for that. Gracias. Yeah, oh wait, so it's not a Korean restaurant. It's Don't not a. Oh my, we were at gracias. KBBQ, and then gracias. someone brought us our our server um, brought us like the next dishes. Kim. Yeah, and you the said main one. I said gracias to him. He said he's not Mexican, and it was not a Mexican Spanish restaurant. That's and you're speaking Spanish. That's and, How do you know he's not Mexican? <laughs> He was not. Hey, you don't, you don't know this? It's a Korean restaurant. It, uh, Mexicans can work in Korean restaurants? You mean he was racist? not Mexican. Uh, what was he? You, you didn't know? even look up. You didn't even look up at him. That's why I say gracias. And then that's why I told you we're not we're, we're, we're not in Mexico or Spain. This is not a Mexican or Spanish restaurant. This is a Korean barbecue restaurant in Koreatown. But then, but then what was on the TV? What was on the TV? Football. I didn't see anything. Football. I didn't see anything. Football is a... Sp- I didn't see anything. Mexican, European, South American thing. You have, <laughs> Straight no, thing? You have, you have no idea what you're talking about. There were balls. There were balls on the phone. On the phone. On the TV phone. TVs. The TVs. Screen. They're the, just TVs. The screens. Oh my god. There were, ball, there were balls. They were, they were playing sports. They were playing soccer. And soccer is proper proper in Latin America. Is Mexico Latin America? <laughs> what is it? it? It is right. I'm actually. Gen- like Latin America is South Central and Mexico. Cause you're not asking the right person, honestly. Oh, okay, yes, you don't know. Okay, I just told you earlier this week that social studies was like the subject I hated. No, because I mean, he does this thing where he looks at me, and I'm like, I always question if I I'm do stupid that. or not. There's some bloopers on my Instagram and also on the YouTube where like I start recording, but he just lets me run with I it. I just don't. I just sit there and I don't say anything. It's kind and of the worst. David's mouth would just run, and it's kind of the worst because I don't know. I will either come to my conclusions and it's correct or incorrect, and I don't know. And look, I I wanted to do something now and I stopped myself. So this is growth. This is character growth. This is episode three of he's just not that into you. He's just he's just not that. He's he's into you, but he's not good. Fuck! I forgot what it is. He's into you. But he's weird. It's something like that, right? It's like he. I'm into him. Once you get the name of bad. the podcast, we'll end it. I'm. Fuck, he's 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 into you, but I'm not me. I'm not shit. Uh, fuck, he's it's like it's like he's he's hot, but he's weird. But I love it or something. He's 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 I I like it hot when he's in me. <laughs> what is the <laughs> what is the I like? I taught you last time. You have to learn. You told me once when I was like like drugged up and stupid or some shit. But it's only all over my Instagram. Do you not look my Instagram? Do you not follow me? You do post memes? Then no, you nope. know the answer. I'm posting them on my podcast. The memes are not gonna have the name of the podcast. I in only it. watch meme accounts. But wait, he's he's not he's hot, but he's into you because you're weird. It's not that long. He's hot and weird, but I like it. But I think I've said that. He's hot. He's, it's something actually really simple. It and is. It's really fucking stupid. Uh, you are. I want to say it's like eight words. It's not eight words. It's 
six letters and three vowels. No, it's not Nitra. It's not. Okay. Sh- well, thank you everyone for listening. This has been He's Hot, he's but hot. something's off. Oh, he's hot and you're off. Yes. He's hot and we're off. What? We're, we're, we're going go to we're, we're gonna go off the air have, now. I don't have headphones. He's hot and we're off. Yes, we're off. Yes. Bye. Whatever the podcast is, listen to it. Listen, subscribe and, and Joey just. Just. Param, param. Param, param. That should be the end. Param, param. It's like reverse Netflix. Param, param. <laughs>